know my favorite comedy of the 2000s? Zoolander. Uh, go, go ahead, be dicks about it. You're the crazy one, so that movie's amazing. And, and I'm not even saying that ironically. I don't say anything ironically. Mostly because no one knows what ironic even means anymore. Thanks, Alanis. Anyway, so thanks to Derek Zoolander. Stay the hell away from Derek Zoolander. I've literally given every Ben Stiller movie ever a chance, no matter how terrible it may look. I sat through Night at the Museum. Still couldn't sit through this. It's Starsky and Hutch! The game, not the movie. I actually enjoyed the movie. So from what I understand, they also released the console version. Now, I can't speak to the console version. I haven't played the console version, but I'm gonna give the console version the benefit of the doubt, because there's no f***ing way it's as bad as this. Two things that bad? That's universe-breaking, black hole-creating stuff. The fact that we're even here, together, today, that alone says that it's not as bad as this. But then again, that's, that's only an assumption. We can only assume. Because we're not playing any more Starsky and Hutch. I'm sorry. We're at, that's not going to happen ever again. The stupid train ends here, amigo. Salida el train de estupido, por favor. No mas el Starsky and Hutch el. So this game was released in 2003, which was a year before the movie. The one with Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson and Amy Smart. What, whatever happened to Amy Smart, you guys? She, she was the Amy Smartest. Anyway, so this, this was probably to promote that movie, right? Yeah, so they based it on the show, which is exactly the kind of logic that leads to a video game like this. So you're given missions, you have to drive around. There's no Ben Stiller anywhere to be found. You get frustrated and angry and very bored, and you realize you have better things to do. You had better things to do in the 70s, and all they had to do in the 70s was disco and drugs. Right, they had, they had a lot to do in the 70s. You know, the game fools you, too, because it throws these cool little cutscenes at you, and then it... Actually, that, that's the only cool thing that it does to fool you, because it spends the rest of its time throwing these bullcrap driving missions at you. Every single mission, it's always the same thing. Drive to the dot. Look, look, look at the little blue dot. Go drive to it. Sometimes you don't even do anything. Just drive to the blue dot. Sometimes you actually do have to do things, and somehow those are even worse, because this game's driving mechanics are shockingly awful. Car slides all over the place, you're crashing into everything, and the, crashing into the walls, and everything else, too. And then what does it do? Oh, then it gives you missions that require precise steering. Block that car from crashing into the gas station. Oh yeah, like that's f***ing possible. Can't even drive straight. The game's split into seasons, which are like worlds, and then episodes, which like, those are like your missions. I mean, if this were, like, actually real-world TV, it wouldn't even last one season. Some some asshole executive would cancel it, and only no one would care. Because every episode's exactly the same, and they all look like crap. I mean, let's look, it's a GBA game that wants to be a 3D game. So, so what that means is, you get all these horrible, blurry graphics, they make it hard to see anything. And then the pop-in, oh, that's even worse. Because then you're driving, you know, you're driving toward that open road, trying to get to the blue dot. And then you get close, but oh, there's a building there for some kind of wall. It just popped up. It just popped in there. Boy, that's real convenient for a 3D driving game. If you want to call this a 3D driving game. And then oh, the, the funky, cool 70s music. Boy, that's fresh, yeah. Then they, ju then they just drop it for the actual gameplay. That way all you get are these annoying sound effects and police sirens. Like what? Like who even thought that? Look, I would tell you I'd rather watch Zoolander than play this, but that doesn't really mean anything. I'd rather watch Zoolander than literally do almost anything. That's, that's not a helpful point to make. Then again, I'm not sure anything I've said here today has been helpful, even in the slightest. And that's because this game's so awful, I don't even know what to say about it. I mean, I'm sitting here and, look, I'm, I'm in sh game shock, which you'd think that by now I'd learned how to deal with plays almost as bad as it looks, and it looks like the actual devil. Not even Ben Stiller or a gallon of holy water. Could save Starsky and Hutch for the Game Boy Advance. Pfft, 3D driving game for the GBA. I'll just sit on it, Minetti.